Fighters Only Television here in Nottingham, England, uh, two days out from this weekend's UFC on Fuel 5 event, which sees Stipe Miocic and Stefan Struve clash in a heavyweight bout that headlines the event. And over for the card is Mr. Alexander Gustafsson, who's been soaking up the atmosphere ahead of this weekend's fight. Uh, Alex, welcome to England. Thank you. And uh, how are you enjoying yourself so far? I'm enjoying myself good, you know. It's, I'm having fun here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's nice to be here and, you know, be a guest fighter for, for once. So it's, it's all good. And I guess there's no jet lag or difference in the weather and uh, easy no. adjustment. No, no, not at all. It's exactly as Sweden. <laughs> Same. You spend a lot of time in San Diego as well at the Team Alliance, right? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I go there when I, you know, in lots of preparations in camp and stuff. So. Yeah. But the north of England is very similar to San Diego. Lots of sun and beautiful people. So yeah, I noticed Just that. the same. Yeah, yeah. I, I noticed. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Let's, nice uh, <laughs> let's jump in. So um, your next fight is against Mauricio Shogun Hua in December. Huge fight. And uh, you've got to think, if you win that fight in convincing style, you must be pretty close to a fight with John Jones, right? I don't want to say too much, but you never know. You know, it's I just take Shogun first, and let's see what happens. So, you beat Thiago Silva in uh, Stockholm in April, and after that performance, which was a fairly masterful performance, um, there was people saying he's like the white John Jones. You fought a very, very intelligent fight. I guess you heard these comments. You, you saw this. Um, what was your thoughts on your performance afterwards, and uh, the comments that people were making about it? Uh, I'm very happy with my performance. Uh, you know, I, I'm, it went well, and uh, uh, of course, I did a few mistakes in the fight. You know, I got got punched, but uh, it's uh, you know, I went back to the office. You know, I, I, le I learned from my mistakes, and I tried to be a better Alex for every fight. Uh, so, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, and uh, yeah, about the comments, uh, me and John Jones, it's. You know, I take one fight at a time, and just right now it's Shogun. That's my only focus. And when I beat him, I, I, we can talk about John Jones. You know, so just back to Thiago Silva briefly because it was a very intelligent fight. Because on one level, Thiago likes a brawl. He likes to stand this close and exchange mm -hmm. shots, and uh, that's kind of obvious. And it's an obvious thing to avoid, except that you're a young guy and you're fighting on the first ever UFC Sweden show. And I guess there was probably a big temptation to go, come on, then, let's stand there and, you know, but you had to make yourself fight at distance and yeah. keep moving, right? Yeah, it was tough, you know, it was really tough. I was, I've never been as nervous in any of my fights uh, as in, in Sweden and, uh, you know, a little bit of pressure and stuff, but... I just tried to tell myself that it's a fight exactly as all my other fights. You know, I didn't make a big deal of it. Mm. And I've been, you know, for me, game plan is everything. You know, I, tr I am always in conditioning. I'm always working hard, and uh, game plan is something I, I try to stay, you know, to, to in the fight, no matter what happens. You know, I just stay stay with the game plan. So that, that was my only focus. You know, I heard my instructions from my coaches, and it went well. Mm. Now for me, I would say the fight was very one-sided, uh, almost to the point that you basically outclassed Thiago. Did you expect that in advance, or was it a surprise to you that you were so dominant? Uh, no, you know, it's MMA, you never know what happens, and, you know, I know Thiago is a really tough guy, and uh, I was prepared for everything. But I, I noticed in the fight that my game plan worked, and, you know, I just took to it. Mm. And so now we move into this fight with Shogun in December. Very tough guy, legend in the sport. I guess you probably watched him in the Pride FC days and stuff. You've grown sure. up watching, right? So you're uh, you're fighting somebody you've been a fan of, and in some ways he's similar to Thiago Silva. He's going to give you a lot of forward pressure. Again, he likes to stand right in front of you and throw the big bombs. So I guess the approach might be similar to the one you took with Thiago. Mm. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> uh, in such in in a few, few of their techniques are about the same you know low kicks and and they, they like to throw bombs but you know it's still another fighter and uh, shogun is he's a legend and uh, he got some tricks he's a good double leg he, you know he, he he's tricky so it's and he has heart he has good heart and a good chin so i have to be ready for everything uh, you know it's i have to be prepared and i have to it, it's a it's a good fight for me and for me it's it's uh, I, I prove my, I would prove myself. To, I want to be at the top, top of my division, and this is the, f the right fight. So, mm. so just run me through. How old are you right now? You're uh, 25. 25. And did you were you watching Shogun in Pride sort of before you started fighting professionally? Oh yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I, I've been watching Shogun since I was a kid, and uh, just Shogun. Uh, I saw a lot of fighters in Pride, but Shogun for me was uh, an idol because. He, he, I like his fighting style. Mm. You know, he goes into to give a defensive show, and you know he, 
you go into it to finish and you know that's that's what I like to do and uh, yeah he, he, I looked up to him for a long time and now now I'm there myself well, so now you're going to be looking across at him this is the thing like do you think yeah. you might find it a little bit surreal strange when the referee brings you together and you kind of mm. wow that's Shogun yeah no not at all you know I, I you know I've been I've been, been through some some wars too and you know I, I think I belong there mm. so you know, I'm just happy. It's an honor for me to stand there with him. So it's, it's, I will do my best and I will be prepared for him. Cool. Okay. A little bit more John Jones thought to finish off just because he's uh, the top of the division and uh, probably the number one fighter in the sport right now. You watched his fight with Vita Belfort? I didn't watch it. Really? But, no, but I saw a highlight and, and read about it and, <coughs> and so on. Right. Okay. Hmm. So, did you see <coughs> obviously the armbar moment yeah, you yeah, saw, which was uh, an impressive display of heart, mm. was it not? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. You know, he's a champ for a reason. He's, you know, he, he's the best one now. So, I just I just hope he, he keeps he keeps the belt to, to I can take it from him. Because so. yeah. the other big topic of discussion after the fight was he's got this technique of like the side kick to the knee, which guys like uh, Rampage was, was saying that uh, he finds it like a dishonorable technique. And uh, do you have any thoughts on that? Because I guess he could, if it lands in the right way, it could really damage somebody's career. Yeah, of course, yeah. It's MMA, you know. He do what it, what, what it, you know. John Jones does what he, what he needs to do to, to win the fight, and I don't blame him. Mm. You know, if, if, if uh, you know, you know, if I get a chance to, to use the technique to, to win the fight, I will do it too. So it, it's a fight, you know. It's, you know, it's all about winning, winning the fight. So.